Good morning. We'd like to welcome you to the Trinity Baptist Church in Westfield, North Carolina. And if you don't have a church to attend or you're looking for a church to attend, we want to invite you to come and be with us in any and all of our services. Our Sunday morning services start at 10 o'clock. We have Sunday school preaching at 11, Sunday nights at 6 p.m. and Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. And I tell you, the Lord sure has been good to us. We also have a FM transmitter for those that are sick or unable to come inside for some other reason. Uh, they could sit out in their vehicle in the parking lot at the church and they could tune the radio to 92.9 FM and be able to hear what's going on inside the services. Our church is located in Westfield, North Carolina, and our physical address is 1233 College Town Road, Westfield, North Carolina. If you'd ever like to come and visit with us, we'd be glad to have you. Like you take that good old King James Bible, authorized King James Bible, turn with us to the book of Hebrews, chapter number 11 today. Hebrews chapter number 11, and we trust you'll pray for us. Uh, back on December, I'm trying to see the date. I can't remember exactly, so I'm going to look. Back on December 28th, my mom fell and broke her left femur, her left leg. Uh, that femur bone was broke completely in two. She's 87 years old. I sure would desire your prayers for her. She's on the mend. She had surgery. She's on the mend. She's also my dad, was my dad's primary caretaker. He's 91 and uh, has to have constant 24-hour uh, somebody be with him. So we've been, we've been up there, and others have been helping as well, my wife and our boys and different ones, and uh, brought food. And if you're watching this, I just want to say thank you. But I want to ask you that are viewing this, if you would, to pray for my dad. His health is declining. I don't know how much longer dad's got, but uh, pray for dad and pray for mom that she'll recover from this broken leg, if you would. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for the privilege of being able to be uh, have this video today. I pray it'd be a help. Help us, Lord, as we look at your word. Thank you for saving my unworthy soul. And I pray that this video will be a help, Lord, and a blessing to each and every one that views it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hebrews chapter number 11. Let's start in verse number 30 today. Hebrews is the book of faith. It is the, uh, well, I think about Hebrews 11. It's known as the hall of faith. You've heard of the hall of fame for sports people. Well, we refer to the book of Hebrews chapter 11 as the hall of faith. And many people are mentioned for the sake of time. I'm going to go back and look at all those. But the, the, the phrase by faith, through faith, uh, you'll see those about every person. And what it's talking about is by faith, they did something. Because of their faith in God, it caused them to do something. You know what? If we've got true faith in God, it'll cause us to do something. True faith produces works. Amen. True faith produces works. Hebrews 11, verse number 30 says this, By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. Ain't that a blessing? By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. Now, if you've been in church much, any in your life, you've heard about the, the battle of Jericho, God's people, how they defeated Jericho. Uh, the city of Jericho, and God God did a great, 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 mighty work. Now, in Hebrews 11, it don't say a whole lot about that, but what it does say is a blessing. It says, let's, let's not try to reword the word of God, but let's, let's read it and, and just think about something this, this morning. The walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. Now, think about that. The walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. How'd that happen? Look at the first two words, by faith. The people of Israel, they believed God, the battle plan that God had given them. And it didn't sound like what most people would say was a great battle plan, but it was the perfect battle plan. You say, why, preacher? Because it's exactly what God told them to do. Now, I'm going to turn back and, and look in the word of God, and let's look a little bit about this story of Jericho. Verse 30 of Hebrews 11 said, By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. Now, back in the book of Joshua in the Old Testament, chapter number six, the Bible tells us about the battle of Jericho, the victory at Jericho for the children of Israel. I'll not be able to read all of this for the sake of time, but verse one says, Now Jericho was straightly shut up, or, man, they were in there, they were scared to death of the children of Israel. 
Because of the children of Israel, none went out and none came in. And God gives the battle plan. The Lord said unto Joshua, verse 2, See, I have given into thine hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor. Now that's a promise from God. Don't miss that. God said, the Lord said, I have given into thine hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor. So when God says he's going to give you something, he's going to give you something. Now listen, the battle hadn't happened yet. The walls of Jericho had not happened or had not failed yet, in other words. But yet it was as good as it was as good as done. Because God told Joshua, I have given to thine hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and all the mighty men of valor. And ye shall compass the city, listen to this, ye shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shalt thou do seven days. In other words, you're going you're gonna to march around those city walls. Think about this. For six days, one time a day. One time a day for six days. Now, you got to remember, the people inside were scared to death of the children of Israel. And I, I, I just, my mind, I'm thinking, wonder what they were thinking when they saw this great army marching around their city one time and the next day, another time. Maybe when are they going to fight us? And they do it another time. He also said in verse 4, The seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram horns, ram's horns. And the seventh day now, you know, one time a day for six days, but the seventh day he shall compass the city seven times, and the priest shall blow with the trumpets. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times, the priest shall blow with the trumpets. It shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, when you hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout. Amen? What a battle plan. He says, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat. Now, this is before they ever marched around the first time. God told them exactly what was going to happen. Well, preacher, how did they know what was going to happen? By faith. By faith. They believed God. Are you going to believe God? Am I going to believe God? Am I going to believe what his word says? I'm, am I going to look at my circumstances and, and, and let that dictate how I live my life? Or am I going to look at the word of God and let the word of God dictate how I live my life? See, it hasn't happened yet. He also told them, let me skip down to verse number 10. He says, ye shall not shout nor make any noise with your voice, neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth until the day I bid you shout, then shall ye shout. So for six days, they marched around that city one time a day and were quiet. All they could hear was the marching feet of the children of Israel. But the seventh day, they marched around seven times. The trumpet sounds and they shout with a great shout. And when they shouted, what happened? The walls fell down. Let me read that to you. Boy, I like that. The Bible says, let me just find it right here. The Bible says in verse number 20, So the people shouted when the priests blew the trumpets, and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the, the trumpet that the people shouted with a great shout, and the wall fell down flat. Flat. We know what flat is, don't we? Flats, flats, smooth, smooth surface, smooth surface, excuse me. Now, they shouted, the walls fell down flat, verse 20 says, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city, thank God. How'd they do it, preacher? They did it by faith. They did it by faith. Just like anything you and I do, we do by faith. I mentioned about my mom and dad, and uh, I'll tell you something, God's, God's given me God's given me grace. God's given me extra grace. Mom's on the mend in the hospital. We're taking care of dad at home. We want to keep him at home as long as we can. Uh, hopefully until he leaves this world, we'd love to be able to do that if we can. Mom's taking rehab. She'll be home, Lord willing, in about a week or another week or two, Lord willing. And uh, they'll be there at home, hopefully. And uh, that's what our goals are. But, uh, I mean, we got to go on for God. I mean, we got to do what we got to do, but we got to go on for God. And how do we do that? Same way, same way Joshua and the children of Israel did. We do it by faith. God, just believe God. I'm not looking at my circumstances and letting my circumstances dictate how I live my life. Now, I know circumstances change and sometimes our lives change, but what I'm saying is we can't let our circumstances dictate whether we're going to live for God or not. We got to go on for God. How? By faith. 
Hope this has been a help to you this morning. It's always a blessing. And listen, with my mom and dad in the condition that they're in right now, I'm going to try to continue to have this video, 10 Minutes with a Pastor, on Sunday mornings. I'm going to try to continue right on with that unless something comes up one Sunday morning and, and, and I can't get the video made. But I'm going to try my best with the help of the Lord. And we hope this has been a blessing to you today. Father, thank you so much for the opportunity to pray. Bless these folks. I pray that the Word of God has encouraged them how that by faith the walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed seven days. Thank you, God, for answering prayer. Thank you for being so good. Thank you that your grace is sufficient. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching, watching today. And Lord willing, we'll be back with you next Sunday morning.